exoplanet where scientists have found evidence of water. Today, let's understand these groundbreaking discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful space science telescope ever built. Every image is a new discovery, and each will give humanity a view of the universe that we've never seen before. And so the Webb is able to look at the formation of the first stars and the first galaxies. So the Webb is tremendously exciting. Light from other worlds, orbiting stars far beyond our own. It's astounding to me. The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful space science telescope ever built. Every image it captures is a new discovery, giving humanity views of the universe never seen before. This telescope allows us to see the formation of the first stars and galaxies, opening an entirely new window to our cosmic history. This telescope cost around $10 billion and took NASA nearly 25 years to design and build. Interestingly, it operates at an extremely cold temperature of minus 266.75 degrees Celsius just a few degrees above absolute zero, minus 273 degrees Celsius, the lowest possible temperature in the universe. To maintain this temperature, unlike the Hubble Space Telescope that orbits Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope orbits the Sun at a point called the Lagrange 2 point, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This position keeps it in the Earth's shadow enabling stable and cold operations. A large sun shield, nearly the size of a tennis court, is attached to block sunlight and keep its instruments cool. Do you know the focal length of this telescope? If you use a DSLR camera, you know its lens usually has a focal length of around 24 millimeters, 35 millimeters, or 50 millimeters. The James Webb Space Telescope, however, has a massive focal length of 131.4 meters, over 2,500 times that of a standard camera lens. Its main mirror weighs about 705 kilograms. Remember the electromagnetic spectrum. It includes different wavelengths and visible light. What we see with our eyes is only a tiny portion, ranging from 0.38 to 0.7 micrometers. Wavelengths longer than red light are called infrared. The James Webb Space Telescope captures images in the infrared range from 0.6 to 28 micrometers. This allows it to see through dense gases and dust that visible light cannot penetrate. The telescope has two infrared cameras. Near-infrared camera for shorter infrared wavelengths. Mid-infrared instrument for longer infrared wavelengths. Depending on which camera is used, the photos reveal different details. Look at this breathtaking photo taken by the near-infrared camera that went viral when NASA released it. The same scene captured by the mid-infrared instrument looks different because MIRI captures longer wavelengths that penetrate dust clouds, showing hidden structures. What are we actually seeing in this photo? We are witnessing the death of a star. Yes, you heard it right. In this image, there are two stars orbiting each other. The brighter star is in its early life stage, while the dimmer star is dying. Over thousands of years, this dying star has been shedding clouds of gas and dust, forming what is known as a planetary nebula. Because the two stars orbit each other, their gravity shapes this nebula into intricate patterns like sugar swirling in water. In the near-infrared camera image, you see only one star with clear dust clouds. In the mid-infrared image, you can see both stars, while the dust appears faint due to the camera's ability to see through it. If this is the first time you are hearing that stars die, it can be surprising. Like humans have life stages, stars too are born age and eventually die. Our sun is a star as well, currently in its middle age. About 5 billion years from now, it will become a red giant, engulfing Mercury and Venus 
and making Earth uninhabitable. Eventually, it will become a planetary nebula and then a white dwarf, the final stage of its life. But don't worry, humanity has 5 billion years to figure out how to survive this future. Moving on, NASA's first released image from the James Webb Space Telescope was this historic photo showing light from 13 billion years ago. President Joe Biden described it as a new window. It's a new window into the history of our universe. And today we're going to get a glimpse of the first light to shine through that window. Into the history of our universe. This image shows a galaxy cluster called SMAX 0723. The immense gravity of the closer galaxies bends the light of galaxies behind them, magnifying them like a cosmic lens. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing. The image was created by combining multiple exposures taken over 12.5 hours at different wavelengths. In the photo, galaxies that appear redder are farther away due to the redshift effect. Next is an image named Stefan's Quintet, showing a group of five galaxies. Technically, it is a group of four galaxies interacting closely, while the fifth, appearing clearer and more detailed, is actually much closer to us, about 40 million light years away, whereas the other four are around 290 million light years away. These four galaxies are so close that their gravitational forces are pulling dust, stars, and gases between them. An extraordinary opportunity for scientists to study galaxy interactions. Another stunning image shows the birth of stars. Scientists have nicknamed the scene Cosmic Cliffs, part of the Carina Nebula. Nebulae are giant clouds of dust and gas where stars are born. In this image, the red dots are newly forming stars in their infant stages. Now, let's discuss the most intriguing finding, data from the exoplanet WASP-96b, located about 1,150 light years away. This is not an image, but spectrographic data revealing the presence of water vapor. Using an instrument called the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, NIRIS, Scientists measured the intensity of different light wavelengths from this planet. By analyzing which wavelengths were absorbed, they concluded that water exists in its atmosphere, along with haze and clouds. But before you get too excited thinking there might be alien life, note that this planet's temperature exceeds 530 degrees Celsius, making it uninhabitable for life as we know it. However, in the coming months, the James Webb Space Telescope will study other potentially habitable exoplanets. There are estimated to be around 300 million such planets in our Milky Way galaxy alone. But so far, only about 5,000 exoplanets have been observed in total. Among them, TRAPPIST-1e is considered the most Earth-like and potentially habitable. It is located just 40 light years away, orbiting an ultra-cool dwarf star called TRAPPIST-1. The planet's radius is about 91% of Earth's, its mass is 77%, and gravity is 93% of Earth's gravity. It is rocky, with temperatures that can support liquid water. Over the next few months, the James Webb Space Telescope will analyze its atmosphere for carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. Detecting a certain combination of these gases may indicate the presence of life. Scientists believe that for any planet to support life, it must have three essential things. Liquid water, a solid surface, and an atmosphere with the right combination of gases. I hope this video was as informative as always. If you enjoyed it, Please watch my previous video for more details on how the James Webb Space Telescope was built. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.